at a Georgia turnout for a hockey game? Well, the answer is simple. It's because hockey is a game of great skill and great and science. Hockey started out on the frozen ponds of Canada. It's always been a rough, bruising game with legitimate body checking designed to take an opponent out of the play. A game not for the faint-hearted among players or spectators. But it's become something else. It's become legitimized war on ice. And it's become more than that. A commodity to be sold to television and to cities with big arenas. For people who've nothing to watch between football seasons and find basketball too tame. The players in many cases are performers, hired as much for their hot tempers and abilities to fight as they are for speed or skill. Dave Schultz, number eight for the championship Philadelphia Flyers, has more penalty time than any other player in the league. The average fan loves violence. Yeah, I think that's what the American people like, and I, I think they dictate to me. I know that they want me to fight, that they love it, and, and it, 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 you know, it, it gives me, I get more publicity, I get this and that. So that's why I, I do it partly, too. Now, maybe it's not right, but, but I, I'm trying to make a living, and, and uh, this, is, this is my job. I Okay. Well, I've changed when I go to hard to describe how I change. I'll see one of their guys run one of our guys and maybe have a thick high or something. I lose my temper. If just something ticks inside me, I'll get all upset and I'll say, that guy's not going to get away with that. To hockey players, fist fighting is an acceptable form of violence. Dave Forbes of the Boston Bruins, who was indicted on that assault charge, sees it as part of the game. What happened, Jim, where they were changing?